today is I'm going to show you a movement that's used quite a bit in strength and conditioning. A lot of rugby teams use this as well. We're going to sh I'm going to show you how we teach it here at CrossFit Wanganui. And next time you have one of these bad boys lying around, give this technique a go. It's a tire flip. The first part we're going to talk about is our setup. I want my shoulders to be pushed into this tire with my hands in a comfortable position. I'm going to show you what good looks like and then I'm going to show you what commonly is done poorly. Good position looks like this. I'm going to grab my shoulders, put them into the side of this tire, and get my hand position in a comfortable um, area on the tire with my chin resting on top. Good looks like this. What we commonly see done poorly when tire flips are done is there's no engagement with the shoulder. The hands are running, but it's all sort of bicep lifting this tire. That looks like this. After you've got your setup sorted, shoulders are in, hands are comfortable position, the next step is just to open the hips. Looks like this. After you have opened your hips, you're already there. We're going to take two steps, and that looks like this. One step, knee. Cool. One more time, you're going to take two steps. One step, knee. The knee part is going to be hitting the tire. That looks like this. <laughs> 